sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out a little differently today, folks. I'm starting out with the Dow Jones Transportations. As you can see here, it's making a massive Gartley up here at the 78% retracement of the high that we made. The high was actually made uh, in the uh, middle of the, of 20, the end of 2020, not 2021. But anyway, as you can see here, it's been down for uh, 78 weeks and alley up for 38, 75 weeks, 38 weeks up. That is a, another, in other words, the time down is equal to 61% of the time up, setting right at the 78% level in the Dow Jones and in, in the Dow Jones transportation. Don't trade it. Haven't been around ever since Richard Russell passed away. No one really follows the Dow theory anymore. And of course, the Dow theory has been, uh, you know, pretty much spot on here with the transportation, the utilities, and the, the uh, Dow Jones uh, index itself have been going uh, sharply higher. But we're sitting right at the 78% retracement as of the high today. It's closer to the low of the day right now than the high of the day. Now, the only reason I'm watching that is someone brought it to my attention. And because I haven't traded it before, I wanted to watch it just to see how it acted, okay? Well, I got a bunch of things to cover. One is from uh, one of our listeners. I wanted to get this up here. Uh, he sent this to me, and uh, he's over in uh, Dubai, and I want to get this up here so you'll be able to see it. More done with this, I've got to show you the sequence in the uh, German uh, DAX today. It just really was unbelievable. That'll be next. Okay, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to look at Softy, Microsoft. Now, this is a weekly chart, so it goes back a long way. But what I want you to see is he drew in all of these patterns. He's learning from the book, watching the videos and stuff, and, you know, watching the YouTube. So he's seeing the patterns perfectly. And he, he said, I, I just don't understand where I am. I, I said, look, you've only been doing this a couple of weeks. This is a great job. The only thing he did different was he, may, he labeled this as one, two, three, and it's not. It's a one, three, five. A, a one, two, three drive to a bottom comes in here. One, two, three, drive to a bottom. One, three, five, higher bottoms. This is what we just had in gold and silver, folks. That's why we've been so darn bullish. Silver's up a dollar, a dollar today. I mean, that's a that's a big amount, boys and girls. You know, that's that's a huge amount. <laughs> anyway, let's. Uh, that's what we're having. Uh, what's what we've got going on? I told him he did a great job. You just got to keep drawing and keep practicing. And once you do about four or five hundred of these. You're going to be able to see them in your sleep. You'll know where the ratios are. You know what the patterns are. And then you just got to put the orders in and pray for your best. Folks, I have been doing this business. My first trade was 1959, but I really didn't get involved until 1961, 62, uh, when I started trading uh, corn and wheat and stuff like that when I was uh, still in, uh, you know, in undergraduate pharmacy stuff. And then later on in grad school, I got involved with silver. Uh, never any stocks, but I want to show you something that literally, absolutely blew me away. Okay, I'm going to get it up here. This is corn, folks. And believe me, corn has one of the biggest followers in the world. I mean, it's the number one food supplement grain in the world is corn. By far our biggest crop, not counting marijuana. Well, that's a joke. Anyway, you'll notice here that we sold it right here. Okay, and we had an ABCD pattern right here. And I sold it at 04, and I put a stop at 506. And you see that little red arrow there? That high on the day was 505 and a half. It hit there four times within an hour, never seeing 506. Now, why is that important? For two reasons. One is it tells you that these markets are pretty doggone fair, okay? They really are. So when you put the stop in, 
that's what you got to do. You got to just say, okay, I think you're right. Let's see what's happening. Now, let me show you what happened to corn after the report came out today. And you'll be surprised. It almost, it, you know, all you have to do is just picture the uh, the Dow Jones or the uh, S&P or the NASDAQ upside down because this thing just absolutely fell out of bed. It dropped uh, 26 cents. Our first profit objective, of course, was right there. That's where right before the report. And uh, you have the choice then of going into the report. You know, you've got a lead there. That's helpful. But, you know, these things can move quite a bit. I, I suggested... You know, you've got an A, B, C, D there, and uh, that's probably where you ought to take your profit. But remember, you could have put a stop in, and the fact that this one di didn't even get taken out by, by a half a cent in corn, are you kidding me? Back in the old days on the floor, that thing would have been gone at, uh, at 501 and a quarter or something. I mean, it's just amazing to me how, how, how accurate this uh, electronic trading actually is. It's just uh, totally uh, uh, amazing to me. Now, here is the one that is the most important for today and for the week. I want to get this up here because this is, I want to show you where I messed up this week. If I start talking about how many times I make it mess up, I'm probably going to spend, I'm going to need four hours in a trading day. Okay, here is where we were last Friday, if you remember. And I really thought that we had already made that level because we were looking for it to get to 45.25. Folks, the high today was 45. 24 and one half. Does that mean anything? Don't really know. All I know is that that's what really happened because yes, last Friday, this was a big move for us, folks. We made a lot of money in that Dow Jones trade. Gave some of it back. Yes, that's true. But we still made a lot of money. We netted over, uh, we we're up about 4,000. We gave back 1,500. So we ended up 2,500. But we had the same type of break here. Okay, the, dis the difference is this only took four or five trading sessions to get down there, and then the market went all the way up and made that big fib number at 45, 24 and a half. It may or may not mean anything. You know, it's the middle of the week, but watch to see where it closes today. Because if it closes, it's you know, only two hours to go. If it closes lower, which it probably can't, but who knows in these kind of markets, that'll tell you, yes, maybe this is an important high that we're seeing it. We're really up there. We look at the Dow Jones transportation. We look at this. I mean, it's really uh, quite amazing. Not only that, folks, the NASDAQ uh, went up and, and it's made a new high on this last run. So uh, from, from the last run that we had, uh, whether it's, I don't believe it's a new high. Uh, you know what? I think I could check that without uh, any trouble at all. Let me uh, give me one second here, folks. I've got a couple of things. I've got a couple of things going on here that are, are Position-wise, that I've got to be careful of. I've got to uh, hold on just a second. Bear with me. I want to put what I'm doing, folks, is I'm looking for the Nasdaq, and I want to get the weekly up so we can see where we are with the Nasdaq. Because uh, no, this is interesting. Because uh, get this here, take a look at it. We made a new high on the week, and hold on, and we took out the high of uh, the 16th. That high was, uh, hold on, but stay with me, folks. Let me get this up here, and we'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted the weekly chart here of the NASDAQ going back the last uh, 18 months. But if you'll notice here, the high that we made on June 6 was violated today. We did make a new high. In the NASDAQ, we went 10 points higher than the high of June 6, and we've already broken 60 handles to the downside. Uh, actually, uh, let's try it again, uh, 75 handles uh, to the downside. So that's a pretty big drop, you know, given the intraday action that we're seeing right now. Now, believe it or not, because of the action last week, I thought that was the high. But as John Jameson said, you're going to make a mistake on this one. He said, we got to hit 45-45. And then we'll see whether we can uh, see if whether we can get there or not. And that is a scam number. We got that one turned off. So anyway, that's what we're paying attention to today. It's going to be a big day getting all these numbers lined up and to see how they're going to go. Now, let's go across the pond over here to the German DAX because I want to show you uh, how the thing uh, lined it, lit up, okay? Let's get this up here. The first one we're going to look at here. I had to send this to Tom Hugard because he trades this all the time, and he happened to be watching it, and uh, it turned out to do exactly what it said it was going to do. You can see the large ABCD pattern that we have here. This was highly suggestive of a rally coming in, okay? Now, is it going to be as much as this one? We don't know that at that time, do we? So all we're going to do now is we're going to take a look and what happened today? I'm going to do it in, in sections so you'll be able to see it without too much trouble. But you've got to pay attention to the numbers if you like numbers. But if you don't like numbers, don't pay attention. Okay, here's where we're looking at. There's where our this is where our market was supposed to go. Now it's down here. You see when the forecast came out. So there it is, right there, at uh, uh, 15,900 to 16,000. Okay. Now we're going to go back and we're going to pull it up now and we're going to look at it in a, s a sequence of events that you'll be able to see without too much trouble. Here's a, the first sequence of it. This is, remember now, this is just a 16-minute chart. What I'm going to do is blow this up so that you'll see how accurate this darn thing actually really was. And that's why, you know, we try to do this. And I don't do this in the DAX, but uh, Alan Smith over in the UK does it for me. Anyway, you can see the little pullback here that we have. But the most amazing one of all is the next one I'm going to show you. 
And that's the one that was uh, really quite exciting because this is the bottom one. Now, remember now, this is a compilation of all these other charts that we've done, and all it is now is on the DAX, okay? But it's a one-hour chart putting them all together. And that's all I wanted to show you is the harmony that's in this market. I mean, look at it. There it is right there, folks. Couldn't make it up. 16,000 right on the money. It went right up to it. This is not, you know, you can see that's there's where it was trading right here. This was the high of the day. But uh, you can see this little green one right here. That's a one, three, five pattern, folks. You see, you have higher bottoms in here. This was the bottom of the large ABCD on the daily. ABCD is pretty hard to beat, in my opinion. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with news or fundamentals, and people don't like it. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. That's what you got to do. I still can't believe that corn. I just cannot believe. I thought it didn't have a chance of a snowball and you know where. But let's take a look at the precious metals, folks. We already know that we had that double bottom. Excuse me, the big ABCD bottom in the uh, – Hold on one second here. In the uh, platinum, and then also we've had bullish Gartleys and uh, 135 patterns uh, in the gold. We've been long that for quite a while. We're, uh, we, don't, we don't make it all on this, folks. But remember, when gold was right here, that was the 382 on the weekly. We came in at 1908. The low of that was 1903. We've now rallied 60 handles, folks. Right up here, two times the harmonic number, 32. And there's the 1.618, the big ABCD, and 61% uh, retracement to the high, going back way back here about three or four weeks ago. And so that's where the short sale came in at uh, $19,630.50. And uh, that's what it looks like it's doing. We should have a little bit of a pullback in here. The real key here, folks, was right in here, this little, little low that we had yesterday and another one today. This was really telling you that want to go higher. This was just a 382 off of that bottom, and away it went. But the one we were the most bullish about, and we've been talking about it for a very long time, has been the silver market. And boy, it didn't let anybody down today. I'll get this up here. It's up over a uh, dollar an ounce, believe it or not. That's a five. That's equivalent to 50 bucks in the in uh, in silver, folks. Is is 50 dollars in silver is equivalent to $50 in gold, and we're only up 20-some uh, dollars uh, in the gold market. So there's what we're looking at right here. You see, there's where we are. We got above the 786, but look at this explosive move that we have here. This could be getting ready to just really run, 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 just much like what stocks did, but we have to wait and see if that's going to be the case, all right? So those are a couple that we really want to pay very, very close attention to. The other thing that I, I want to – oh, by the way, I wanted to – well, I'll do that later. Uh, I want to show you the corn here for just a second because uh, you'll see here that this is broken down. We were looking for original bottom to come down here somewhere around uh, 83, 84. That's where we are right now. But with this big move today, you don't want to wait. That wide-ranging bar is a sign of danger. So we're going to wait a day or two. We'll probably buy it by Friday would be my guess. But you can see what happened here when we broke through the 78% level. Look, 61% didn't hold, 78 didn't hold, the double bottom didn't hold. So what we've got to do now is we've got to find a pattern down in here that's going to say, okay, where's a low-risk entry in corn? Much like we did you know, today. We found a nice ABCD in a bear market. We sold it. It worked. I still can't believe it didn't get stopped out. I, I was shocked. It's just stayed there for, I mean, I, in fact, it was about 2.30 in the morning. And I said, well, I might as well sit here and, you know, get the field and go back to sleep. And I fell asleep at the desk. And by the time I fell asleep at the desk, it was trading at 01. So it backed off, you know, a nickel. So I said, yeah, I'll go to bed. I couldn't believe it. That's why I copied it and, and, and uh, tried to, uh, you know, show you, my goodness, I, I don't see anything like that. It's just in a tribute to the electronic trading, folks. That, that means it's, it's really fair. That's a big market. That's the biggest of the agricultural markets by far is the corn market. So that's that's not an unusual situation. Okay, let's get back and talk a little bit about Mr. Jim Bartoleone. Last, yesterday was on. If you remember, he was talking to us about the, uh, the Japanese yen, and he shared this with us a couple, oh, I think about three or four weeks ago. Get this up here so you can see where we are. Hey, hold on just a minute, and we will get this up here. And then we'll be able to take it. Then we got to pay a few bills, I believe. Okay, here's where we are. This is there was your ABCD at the top. It missed the top by about 30 cents, 
and it, then of course it drops five thousand dollars. Now I marked this uh, early when this thing started down. I said there's going to be your first correction right here. For, first of all, it's going to be the largest correction since this one back here. This one back here will be equal to this one right here if we get to the 3A2 of that move down from way back here. And you'll never guess, boys and girls. Drum roll, please. Someone roll the drums. And I'll get it up here so you'll be able to see it. And you'll be surprised to know that it uh, got to the 3A2. So hang in there. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted the chart of the corn. As you can see, this black line up here, this is the 135 pattern. And, of course, uh, it worked out pretty good. The thing is, uh, we want to be looking to be a buyer of corn down here at this 1.27 level, which is down around another 10 cents. But you can see we rallied back to the 382 of that high uh, today, which I think is a pretty stellar performance. In fact, it could rally 10 cents with the negative news that's out there. So remember, folks, so, well, we had, we had uh, soybeans were down 40 cents at one time. 
Uh, corn was down 20 cents at one time. Wheat, I'm not sure because I haven't had a chance to uh, to check it, but I, I was thought that it was down. Yes, the wheat is down also, but not by as much. So that's the main thing that we're paying very, very close attention to uh, here today. I want to uh, spend just a moment going over the U.S. dollar because what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the dollar index. First, what we're going to do is we're going to look at it here. Uh, this was this is one that we put in the, the uh, uh, this was in the uh, newsletter this past week. I see the week before we were setting a beautiful AB. Oh, I gotta I gotta put the chart in, Larry. Hello, operator. Okay, let's get this up here. There was the little garley that we had here about ten days ago, and then of course today's action you can see tells us that we're heading down. We're taking out all of this right here. This means we're looking at A, B, C, D, all the way down. Now, what we could look at is we could do this. We could make this A, B, C, D, which we're making right now, and this might hold it. We might just clean out all these stops, and it might hold. I don't know if it's going to do that or not, but that's one thing I want to be looking at. I'll look at it through the eyes of the euro. I don't trade the dollar index. I take the euro because that's, uh, you know, 53% of the dollar index. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the dollar index, but we're going to look at it on the weekly. And, folks, this is a nice pattern. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but uh, like I say, it's mother God and country if you can find this one. Now, this is a dollar index. Okay, it's not the euro. It's a dollar index. And you can see here, this is the weekly. We've broken down below these lows right here. Okay, that tells us we could go another buck and a quarter lower to 99. In other words, we get to double digits. And if we get there, pay attention to that because it's got three things going for it. It's got A, B, C, D, correct? It's got one, two, three drives to a bottom, correct? And we also have Mr. Fibonacci himself at 0.618. There at 99, and we're trading at 103 uh, right now. Uh, excuse me, 100.03 now. So we're getting close. Doesn't take much. Another day, half like today, and we will be there. So we got to be watching that one really closely. We'll do that through the eyes of the euro, but we'll do them both just to see if we get confirmation that both of them are coming through uh, at the same time. Okay, now those are some of the main things that I wanted to cover today. But oh, one other one, one other one, very important. Hold on. This is the Australian dollar. We talked about this yesterday, and uh, you can see it was breaking out uh, on several different factors. And you'll see today with the news of whatever that happened to us must have been good for uh, Australia. But uh, boom, away it went. Now, this should have been good for the grain markets, but you can see grains went straight down. The dollar versus the Australian dollar went straight up, okay? So that's telling you that uh, that grain market's in big trouble. So. This Australian dollar, very, very interesting here, the fact that it can gain so much against the U.S. dollar here. Look at this beautiful three drive, excuse me, one, three, five pattern, one, three, five. There's your tip off. It took uh, two days to make a 382 retracement here, and then boom, away it went uh, to the upside. Those 382s are very powerful, folks. That's the one thing that I screwed up this week more than anything else, and I do screw them up occasionally, more than occasionally, but when the old bell rings at the end of the week, I don't bet against the old cowboy because I've been doing this a long time, and I'm pretty good at it, you know, and I'm not the best there is, but I know what I'm doing, and sometimes I do better than I should, sometimes I do worse than I should, but when it all comes together, I try to get it right. But let's take a look at it. This is the Dow Jonesy Mini. I showed this before. But when you see this once, folks, you're going to see it again and again, whether it's the Japanese yen, whether it's soybeans, wheat, whatever it happens to be. When you see it the first time, you're going to see it again. There's your first 382 retracement right here. That was on the longer term daily. That was the one that came in uh, late Monday night. There was the next one here. Okay. There was the one right here. Okay. Then we had another one right here. And then it went off the charts. It's doubled in price. This thing went from uh, a high, finally, was 40, 48. It hit uh, 34,800, I believe. Yeah, 34,800. Yes, 34,800. And so that's what it's done so far. Now, it's, you know, whether this is eight weeks up, we see it in the transportations, we see it in the S&P. I don't know, but you know what else? 
nobody else does either. That's the key. You got to figure out how much you're going to risk on a trade. And if you can do that, the rest of it is a piece of cake. It really is. It, that's really what it's all about. I wanted to show you one other thing here today on today's action. Let's get this out. This was uh, this was the E-mini S&P. I want to get this here. You'll be able to see it. I don't have the things marked, but you'll be able to see it because you've heard me talk about this so often that it'll come second nature to you. There was right before the report. Okay. Boom. There's your 382 retracement. And then we make a high. Then we came down. And then we come up and we make a little 382. It's actually got up above the 50% right now. But this low right here. This low to this high was exactly 61. Folks, that's what these algorithmic people are doing out there, man. They know what these numbers are. They have to because if, if you've got a computer and you put it in and say, why does it stop here? Why does it stop there? It'll tell you. It's, it's some of these mathematical numbers or harmonics that we look at. And if you're aware of what they are, you've got to be, you gotta be, uh, you gotta pay attention to that. Well, you don't have to. You know, maybe you trade. Hey, John Jameson doesn't pay and doesn't pay any attention to it, and he's really good at it. So, you know, of course, his his time frame is months and years. Mine's, uh, you know, uh, days or minutes and hours. But uh, I'm more, you know, I'm more risk averse. I will not set with something that, you know, I'm not that I don't know exactly where I am in it. I mean, I've been doing this long enough that I know that if I follow what I'm supposed to be doing and not get too far away from it, I'm going to be okay. But if I get away from it and I start having an opinion, like I did on Tuesday, I was so bearish Tuesday, and the market with that big range up and then the pullback at the 382, and then I make, made the mistake of last night. I had a perfect pattern in that NASDAQ 135 pattern. So I said, okay, we'll try the, S &P, uh, the Dow Jones one more time, and we're going to risk 50, uh, 100 points, 500 bucks. And, uh, boy, we got stopped out, and that was about uh, half an hour before the report. And then the market just exploded, went another 200 points higher. Would get, you know, we made really good money on the way down, but we gave some money back. And I don't mind that because I was following what I was supposed to be doing. I was just wrong. You know, that, that I was just wrong. And so when I'm wrong, I just try to stand aside. You know, I, we made some nice money in corn on the upside, nice money in beans on the upside, really good money on corn on the upside, uh, and, and also gold on the upside, okay? And, uh, you know, we gave a little bit back in crude oil, about a, a buck 30, but, you know, that's the name of the game, boys and girls. Hey, let's take a break, 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee. 
at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I posted the chart for the live hogs, and I think I've lost it. Uh, don't tell me that. Nope. I think, no, that's not it. Here it is right here. Stay with me, folks. This is one that, that you talk about things that drive you crazy. Okay, here is the live hog market. All right. Let me see here. Okay, we were looking for this big ABCD to come down here at around 75. It came in at 73 and change. We took a loss on that day right here. The next day, we're going to buy it if it opened lower, and it left this gap, and I don't chase it. So it left a gap here, and it left a gap there. Well, that tells you it wanted to go higher. Here was a 61% retracement. It backs off for three or four days, and then away it goes. This was a $6,000 move in hogs, folks, with about a $300 risk. Unfortunately, they got us at $300, and I never re-entered uh, re the trade. I've got to figure out. A way to chase, not only chase it, but you know, to enter and just buy it and put a stop in. That's what I've really got to do, uh, because when you see these markets that are jumping around this much, it uh, it's really a lot of money. And this going to get. You think these markets are going up fast? Oh, when the only way is up, the only way is down. Our friend Mr. Jameson requotes that all the time. So what goes up will come down, with the exception of a few things like Bitcoin taxes and prices of agricultural commodities. Okay, now let's move on, and I want to talk about something that uh, we haven't talked about here for a long time, and that is the wheat. All I have to do is to find the chart again. I've got so many charts up here, folks, that uh, it's going to be really, and here it is right here. Okay, and here's one right here. Now, here's one that worked out pretty good. We were able to buy the wheat uh, down there at $6.10. The low was 6.09. Uh, right down here. It's a perfect ABCD, as you can see. We had a nice rally here of around 70 cents. It was 50% of that move right here. It didn't make the 382 of this move. And now we're backing off. You see that? That's really, and I'll remember, this is going to be really important because this is a weekly. That means it's come down four weeks now. So we're a month down into this. And we got to come in and put up the daily to take a look at it. And that's what I will do tonight when I get ready to prepare the video for a potential buy in the wheat market. Now, why am I going to buy wheat as opposed to the corn? Take a look at the chart. The corn made a new high, a new low, okay? Wheat has held above the 78% level. And corn, we just pointed out a 382 rally in corn. It's already dropped three cents from that level. So, you know, that 382 is a pretty powerful thing. The problem is it only works about 62% of the time, but... That's no big deal because most baseball players hit 620. I can't believe that they pay these guys 20, 30 million dollars and he's batting 236, 245. You know, you see a 300 hitter, oh my gosh, it's almost like a flash that they have to, you know, give the guy's life story for heaven's sakes. You know, just amazing. Why don't they find somebody like Joe DiMaggio? Joe DiMaggio, he had sure he had this great hitting streak of 56 straight games, but his his biggest thing, folks, 
the average person that swings the baseball bat and hits home runs in the major, major leagues, for every strikeout, he hits one home run. Do you know what the ratio of this 392 home runs that DiMaggio hit in his 14 years? He struck out 391 times. One to one, folks. Every time he struck out, he hit a home run to match it up. Not striking out six times. Mays hit 665 home runs when he, and half of those were at the at the polo grounds where the, you know, it was 500 feet. So, uh, but problem problem was he only batted 300 and he he struck out six times for every home run that he hit. So, it doesn't make any difference. The thing you got to remember is you can make money like Pete Rose. He he became a multi multi millionaire and a superstar just by hitting singles and doubles, and that's why Charlie Hustle was such a uh, you know, great baseball player. Unfortunately, got into gambling that really screwed him up. But that's either here or there. He still should be in the. Uh, I'm not going to get into the baseball stuff. I still think he should be in the. Uh, hold on one second. In the uh, baseball Hall of Fame, but we'll we'll have to worry about that. I want to share something with you now. I'm on a maverick on this one, but I, uh, I, I just I, I love these patterns so much that they, I get involved with them, maybe a little too much. I've been showing this thing here for a couple of months. Well, wait, it's more than that. This last thing this was done was the end of uh, end of April, right before the 1st of May. And, of course, we had the big run-up from this level. Now, all this is going to show you I, – someday I'm going to try to get this thing updated. And I don't remember who gave it to me. I put, I put the lines in like this, but this is going over a long period of time. But look, this is where – you see what we've done in May and June. We had this huge run-up, so we went even uh, much, much higher than this. So this is the seventh, the, the magnificent seven is what it is. Okay, down here is the is the S and P. Now the S and P's moved up to a 78 percent retracement now, but that's what we're watching here. So you got to pay attention to this because when these things turn over, and the fact that the Nasdaq could knock out the June high, okay, by 10, uh, 15 points, and then reverse by 60 points, maybe means nothing. I don't know. But there was no buying up there. Why wasn't there any new buying as the market broke into new high ground? And then not only that, but the fact that it's, if it closes lower in the NASDAQ today, that would be a real suspicious thing, you know, to pay uh, close attention to. All right? Okay, main main point here to, to remind ourselves of that. Keep, keep your eyes on these markets because when they're strong trending up, they will be strong trending down. And that's the whole key to what we're paying really close attention to, folks. That's the same thing that we had here in this Japanese yen that we pointed out earlier uh, last week. Uh, on the, what, What's today? The 12th. It was Monday. Get it up here. Wow, where does the time go? Yeah, it was the 10th. It was Monday. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, and then down. Oh, by the way, folks, I will not be here on July 19th. Okay. I am going to a birthday party. My baby sister is going to be 80 years old, and I'm going to surprise her. So don't tell her. She lives in Kalamazoo, Michigan, so don't tell her. Her, la her maiden name is Schwartz. So if you can find a, a Cal Carla Schwartz in Kalamazoo, Michigan, go for it. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be fun. It's at the old Italian restaurant. This is a uh, knockoff of the, the original one. It's run by one of my cousins, and I'm going to be the waiter. I'm going to come out and take her order, and she's going to, she's going to be really surprised. I talk to her five days a week, have for my whole life. I haven't seen her since COVID, so it's been four years, and so I'm looking forward to uh, – seeing her and having a lot of folks that woman is as close to mother Teresa that ever walked the earth oh she was a surgical nurse and after she retired six or seven years ago for those years she was she would go back and give her old buddies there the ladies there she would fix their hair and help them get uh, baths and stuff like that just on her own time because she she liked to give back to uh, what the hospital had given her so she's just uh Mother Teresa, oh my gosh, and here she is married to Willie Satan, or whatever his name is. And, no, I, her brother is Willie Satan. Michael is a pretty good guy. All right, let's take a break here. I think we got a, a, a break coming up here in just a few few more seconds. I'll remind you ourselves, tomorrow we got uh, Stan Harley, always got some great stuff. And remember, he was talking to us about the 15th of July coming up, as I recall. So Stan will be our guest tomorrow. And then on Friday, we have the Wizard Winsky, Wizard Winsky from Naples, Florida, Astro Trends. We'll be right back.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, two charts. This is the one from uh, last Friday. Uh, this is what we were looking for. We had a break and we broke uh, 80 handles. And then, of course, we exploded to the upside. And the reason why we exploded to the upside is the next chart. And this is the one that you should really respect because I think uh, whenever you see a perfect ABCD like this and you like ABCDs and it's on a weekly chart and it's coming in, you know, uh, right at the 78% level up here at 45.25, the high being uh, 45.24 and a half so far, maybe a close at 45.30, I don't know. But... Anyway, that's what it's done uh, so far today. So we have to pay very, very close attention to that. Remember, the NASDAQ took out the highs of June 6th and has dropped uh, 60 handles. Okay, that's not really good market action. Second thing, the Dow Jones has been struggling all day. It's still up on the day, but just barely up 100 and so. It was up almost 300 at one time. So some of these markets are uh, getting into a little bit of uh, areas where they could have some pretty significant corrections. Remember, the NASDAQ has got the, the Magnificent Seven in there, the ones that are going crazy. But even then, you know, uh, uh, Tesla was up sharply today for a while. So was Microsoft. So was Apple. But they were far, far below the highs that they had made last week. So maybe that's a sign that the market's getting a little bit tired. The S&P and the Russell led everything up today. So that might always be the case. But we try to watch everything as we you do here all the time. Also, we're keeping a very close eye on that Treasury bond market because 
if that Fed comes in, they've got a lot of assets on their battle sheet that they're going to have to get rid of. And I just wonder who they're going to buy it from or sell it to. If you remember Trading's Places, he says, get back in there, get back in there, fill our orders. And he said, sell, sell, sell. And the broker said, to who, to who? So you got to be careful of that. For whatever, whatever goes up, usually comes down. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.